Hey friends, this is Mr. Scott here, and I'm here with my Lego Spike Prime robot. And I'm going to show you real quick how to get started and make some movements. So the first thing you want to do is go down to the left corner and hit your start menu. In our menu here at school, the program is under S for Spike. I have added it to my home screen so it's easier to, for me to find. All right, so once your program loads, you're going to see you have Essentials on the left, Spike Prime on the right. We're using the Prime, so that's where we're going to go. We're going to create a new project. We're going to give it a name. So we're going to call this one Three Feet. Oops. three feet challenge and we use word blocks so we're going to click on word blocks here in the middle and click create when this opens if your robot is connected you're going to see a green light here and all of the motors that are on your robot you're going to immediately notice that this programming software is scratch based uh, which some of you are used to using and it's pretty simple to use in order to get started, there's a couple of initial steps that we need to take. First thing we need to do is set movement to our motors. And by clicking this down arrow and looking at your robot, you can see that we have our motors set in C and D. These are our movement motors and so we want that to be at C and D. We also want to set our speed value. Um, the important thing to remember here is that this speed value is a percentage and it's a percentage of your battery. If you don't charge your robot every night, your robot's going to get slower every day because it's running a percentage of your battery. Once you've got those two blocks in place, then you can just start programming your robot. Now our first challenge in here has always been the three foot challenge or the three feet challenge. And so what you're supposed to do is program your robot to go exactly 36 inches, touch a wall without knocking the wall over. Well, with the NXT robots and the EV3 robots, that was a great little challenge. With the Spike Prime, they've made some changes to the software, and now you can actually program it to go exactly 36 inches. And then you end that movement with a stop moving block. Now, once that is done, you simply press play on your computer and if we've done this right what we should see is that our robot makes that movement okay and so we did it now if this was a different challenge later on like maybe your next one which is called around the block then you would simply remove stop moving and you would add some turn movements in here and that's up to you to figure out how to make your robot turn to get you a 90 degree turn I'm not going to go into that and tell you how to do that you'll have to figure that out on your own but that is the basic getting started. There are things here that you can adjust. You can change your motors. There are lights. You can change the light set up on the screen. Down here under control blocks, this might be cool. When you get ready to do the around the block, if you set that for four rotations and you drag it in here, and you figure out your straight distance and your turn distance, repeat that four times and your robot is going to travel in a square. 
or a rectangle, whichever the case may be. And then you'll just keep adding to this program as you get different challenges this quarter. I hope this gives you a basis of how to use the robots. Um, have a great day. Bye.